How can children fulfill their potential if they don't attend lessons on a regular basis? Oh. This is what this is about, isn't it? Forcing children into classrooms. Don't even bother sending your children here. Uh, these are Her Majesty's inspectors. Well, lucky her. Do you know that the teachers tell the kids they needn't bother going to lessons? Maddie made the decision herself. She's 11! How does she know what's best for her? Because she's got a mind of her own. I am withdrawing my daughter with immediate effect. You must ensure adequate provision is made for pupils with dyslexia. So, to sum up, Summerhill has many shortcomings, but the root cause of these defects is non-attendance at lessons. And this is likely to adversely affect children's future prospects. That's just not true. It is our opinion. So, what happens next? I submit the report, then Ofsted decide what to do next. I think you can expect to see me again in a matter of days, Mrs. Redhead. There you go. You're safe now. It's the workshop, Ryan. Run to the office, quick as you can! He's in the workshop. Will. 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 I can see him. He's over there. Peter! Will! Everyone back! Will, no! Everyone, get all the buckets you can get your hands on and fill them up in the pool. Peter! Peter! It's gonna be okay. How did it start? We don't know. Brian raised the alarm. I bet some little hooligan started this deliberately. Well, somebody must have seen something. Hmm? I saw Ryan. He did it. Maddie? Are you certain? Nick stuff, but I don't start fires. You've got to believe me, I didn't do it. Six months. That's the point at which we'd start proceedings to close the school. We've got to stay true to who we are. We could take the government to court. You would need to raise at least a hundred thousand pounds. What if we lose? 